all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. The best present in boxing for 2021, not including heavyweight, has got to go to welterweight. It's always considered one of the best divisions in boxing, but this year, it backed it up with some great fights and lots of intrigue for 2022. It might not need to be unwrapped, but heavyweight finished off the Tyson Fury vs. Deontay Wilder trilogy and saw a former undisputed cruiserweight champion in Alexander Usyk beat the unified heavyweight champion of the world in Anthony Joshua. The latter fight absolutely flipped the division on its head, but that barely stands above the next best present under the tree, which was 147 pounds. Oh, there's the overhand right, and another combination! Beautiful work by Crawford! Starting with the man of the division, Terrence Bud Crawford. He has been searching for what feels like forever now for a big fight at welterweight. 2021 finally delivered it. He became the first man to stop the former two-time champ, Showtime Sean Porter. But of course, some would argue the unified champion Errol Spence is the Saint Nick of 147 pounds. He was set up for his own big fight this year against the legend Manny Pacquiao. Unfortunately for him, he had to deal with a retina injury, but was replaced by the WBA super title holder, your Dennis Ugas. That gave the Fisticuffs Elves another upset to add to the year. He put on a clinic against the eight division champion, solidifying himself in the division and setting himself up for Spence in the future. This is just what the champs were up to this punching holiday season. Arguably the best contender at 147 is Virgil Ortiz Jr. He walked into the year with a perfect record with a perfect KO ratio. In the end, he remained the same even though he went through his two toughest tests of his career. He started the year testing himself against his first former world champion, Emery Sucker, and finished with the tough world title challenger, Aegis Kavalaskis. He scotch taped both in under eight rounds, setting himself up for a big 2022. Right now, he's focused on David Avanesian, who was another former world title challenger. The man that will be racing to the milk and cookies, though, is one that also holds a massive KO ratio and undefeated record in Jaron Ennis. Boots also fought twice this year in the biggest fights of his career, matching Ortiz to a T. Another former world champion in Sergey Lipinets, whom he stopped in six, and a fellow season challenger in Thomas Delorme becoming the fastest man to stop him in under three minutes. Ennis has been talked about as possibly being a mandatory for Spence, and that speaks to where his talents lie. This isn't even getting into what Conor Ben has been doing or any of the other contenders. This is a full tree of fights for 2022. Welterweight never fails to stay in the mainstream and with how boxing is running right now, the world might finally get to see Spence versus Crawford. But if that doesn't happen, it might be because of the contenders dethroning the Kings. 147 pounds might have been a close second this year for division of the year, but by next holiday season, it should be a completely different story.